What's up guys? Welcome back to Planet Coaster 2 where we are working on our water park excuse me our water park Manitou Springs and uh, I don't think I've shown you the completed Aspen Lodge yet but we do have the Aspen Lodge completely completed we added some windows, we added a whole bunch of signage eaves, we got the signs done here and one of my favorite things is kind of a just an afterthought but I got this board here for attractions that you can just list kinda of like a menu of what attractions you have in the park because as far as I'm concerned the guests will be forced to go at least through this archway now they can go through the Aspen Lodge and come out that way they certainly can but I think the majority of them might go this way it all depends uh, so what I've done from there is I started working on like the first big area it looks like garbage right now it's gonna look better I promise so I decided I definitely wanted a lazy river so I came up with this lazy river and it goes underneath the it goes underneath a small little cave there and yeah that that happens every single time I try to do anything doing anything inside this cave is gonna be impossible for whatever reason it just does not want you to build in the cave as you can see it's just going I'm not doing that <laughs> Like, I'm trying to look forward now. It will not let me do it. Will not let me look forward. So, it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Unfortunately, my idea of decking this cave out inside, that's just gone to the wayside. Uh, we got a little kids area here. And I've got these statues up to just to make sure that I've got the right height for what I'm wanting to do. Hey, she got a camera. Camera controls are being finicky today. So, yeah, I know that we've got these uh, little mushroom spouts, whatever you want to call them, in the right area. I don't know what that is. Oh, <laughs> it's the water. Okay. Uh, so this is a blueprint that is readily available to you. I'm going to spruce it up and make it my own. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with the kids area just yet. Uh, to be completely honest, I have no idea what I'm going to do with any of this just yet. It was just kind of like, let's throw something down. That way we can start developing a plan. And then up here, I want the guests to be able to come up here. And I'm going to have a couple uh, flumes and stuff like that coming down. I don't know if I'm going to have them come down into here or somewhere over in here. I'm thinking I might actually do it up over in here. That way I can do some terraforming over here, build some shops and whatnot so the guests, as they come up here, they, they've got something else to do before they ride the flume down. Over here, I'm going to do a whole bunch of changing rooms. Um, I'm gonna building this off. It's, it's gonna all gonna be covered, just uh, just so we don't see the guests going into individual pods. Over here, my plan is to build like lockers, and this is kind of like the base layer of my lockers. And again, I put a statue down just so I can make sure I got the height correct, make sure it's not too tall, and you know these upper lockers you'd be stretching a little bit but you'd still be able to get into them so I've got them partitioned off so we've got one two and three banks or three rows I should say and then I put the bathrooms back here just to ensure that guests will actually go in here and again this is all gonna be blocked off it's all gonna be in a building of sorts and we might do something like this over here maybe I don't know over here we've got our splash emporium which is what we're gonna work on today uh, hopefully we'll finish this up today there's really not a whole lot to do with this so this should be a pretty quick episode 
But I've got that in here, and I thought, you know, it'd be really cool to build a little, like, storage area of sorts. To kind of show that, you know, it, it, this is a working park. There are things going on. So I've got the donuts. I've got the little bed loungers. I got the popsicle loungers. I got the inner tubes, and then I've got three of the uh, unicorns. And I, I tried to make it to where you know it's these are sectioned off, so they're not just flopping all over the place. We got the uh, little holder here to throw the inner tubes on. Here and here, I just wanted to make it be kind of like controlled chaos. So it looks kind of chaotic, but it also looks very controlled and measured. That's what I was going for. Hopefully I pulled it off. I have no clue if I did or not. But uh, that's kind of the skinny uh, of what I've done off camera. And then I've decided we're going to have uh, four areas. Uh, I'm going to try to break this park up into four areas. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with these areas. I do know I want to add a water coaster and a log ride at the very minimum. So I'm thinking I'll add those either over here or over here. I'm kind of thinking I'll do it over here because I would love for, you know, once you peek the coaster for the big drop or whatever, you get a nice view of the river. That's kind of my idea. I don't know yet. I, have, I honestly have no clue how I'm going to do this. I might even throw one right over in here just to add to this area. But I'm kind of thinking this area is going to be a whole bunch of pools, beaches, if you will, um, flumes and stuff like that. And then these two areas we might theme out with the whole mythology, do Viking and the Greek. I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below. What you think I should do with these sections there. Anyways, let's go ahead and finish out our uh, Splash Emporium. And once I'm done with this, just like with all the buildings that I do, I'm going to go ahead and put it up on the workshop. That way, if you want to use it, modify it, whatever, put it in there just as it is, you're more than welcome to. Right, well, let's get to it.
You know what? Oh, I was gonna say that was it, but we need to uh, we need to cap this sucker off. Let's do that. I completely forgot about that. That's totally my bad. My bad. Um, let's go here. There's our cap. But. I don't know if we're gonna get this centered just right. Oh, we can. Okay. Maybe. Not really. Alright. There's more than one way to skin a cat. Let's do this hair. Something like this. I don't know why these don't line up very well, but they don't. <laughs> no clue why. Do I want it that high? Or maybe like something like that. I think something like that. I think that'll do her nicely. I'll throw that one there. That doesn't seem very well centered on this side though, does it? Here it looks good. On the back side it doesn't. What the bloody hell. <laughs> Alright. Well, you know what? We're just going to... Oh, I know why. Right, okay. So if we grab this guy... We duplicate him. Is that about right? No, we need to go... That didn't fix it? I could've... I could've swore... That had we just flipped it around, it would have been just fine, but I guess not. Well, it is what it is. Wow, how is, how is the top of the roof that crooked? Like, how is that even possible? Could someone explain that to me? It shouldn't be that bad. Let's take that off. I mean, it looks like it's it just doesn't look like it's lined up from the back end that is so weird how is that even possible unless these things are just crooked which they could very well be I mean who's to say that they ain't so if we do that why didn't that work the first time <laughs> Lord, cheese and crackers. All right, well, we got it. That's all that matters. We got her. Wow, okay. Let's take another once through, see if there's anything we want to add, which is something that I often do. I'll just go through and be like, hey, do I want to put anything here? Do I want to do anything with this? I know I'm going to put a staff path here because we got a break room in there. Um, where do I want to put the staff path? I'll probably just add it right there, to be honest. Let's do that right now. Do the staff path. Do curved. We'll do all sorts of skinny like. Let me 
something like that. We can still put flowers and whatnot in there to decorate this whole area out. I don't add like trees and stuff like that in my builds for the workshop because if I do that and you use my item, it might not fit where you want it to fit. And this way it allows you to decorate on the outside any way you want. So like for this build, I'm going to deselect these splash things just because you might not want them there. And it'll allow you to customize it as you see fit a little bit easier, if you know what I'm saying. But I really, really do like how this came out. We used the Splash Emporium colors. We got the blue and the pink. I could probably add some white somewhere, but you know what? I think we're all right. I like the blue and the pink. It, it definitely pops on this wood building. It really does pop on the wood building. I like it. I really love the, <laughs> the addition of Queen Splash up here. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I just thought that was really nice. I like that a lot. What do you guys think? I think we're going to call this a video. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this. Um, can I... They're going to seriously make me... Just grab like that there. So that should grab everything. And then we're gonna de No! Crap, press the wrong button. And shift to no, it's controlled it. I knew it was control Ah When I press the mouse button the wrong way every freaking time man it's kind of annoying now why did it oh oh do I need to edit the building do I have to deselect these I think I do so if I grab that one and I grab that I split those from the building. So now these shouldn't be part of the build anymore, and they are not. Good. Okay. So we should be okay at this point in time. The hoops you gotta jump through sometimes, man. Alright, we'll confirm that selection. And we'll save as a blueprint. I'll try to get somewhat of a nice picture of it. Maybe something like that. I kind of want Queen Splash to be in the picture. I guess we can do something like that, right? We'll call it Splash Emporium Manitou Springs. Right. All uh, right. Probably just gonna leave this stuff alone. We'll just apply that. What else have we got? That's fine. We'll apply that and we will save the blueprint. And yeah, I will upload that into the game for you guys. And no problemo. And we're gonna call it a video there, guys. I told you this one was gonna be quick, short, and sweet. I didn't have a whole lot left to do with it, but I did wanted to show you the progress that I'm making in the park in my in the few hours that I have uh, between work and going to bed 
So, there we have it guys. If you like this video, hit that like button. If I've earned it, hit the subscribe button. And as always, be safe, be cool, and have fun. We'll catch you in the next one.